If you're a regular user of the journal app on your iPhone, you probably realise how frustrating it is to go back and find a particular post. Up until now, you've had to simply scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll to find exactly what you're looking for because there wasn't a search feature. Well, in iOS 18, that search button is finally there, and it works just like you'd expect, really. If I tap on the search button in the top corner, I can then type any word or phrase that appears in my journal. This makes going back to revisit old memories really easy. But the search has also got a couple of clever filters and categories built in. So, for example, if I tap onto videos on the search page, it will immediately filter to only posts that got videos in. That means I can find this lovely one of Poppy catching a frisbee. And I can filter by lots of different things. I can filter by places, I can filter by music I've listened to, activities that I've done. And the really cool thing is you can combine these with your search as well. For example, if I select state of mind, I can then also type in London to find any posts that I've made about London that also feature a state of mind check-in that I've made. This is also a new feature in iOS 18 this year, and I've made a video all about how to use that as well. Please do check it out on my channel. And speaking of new things in iOS 18, now your phone's updated, you're probably wondering, well, what can I do now that I couldn't do before? I've got you covered. I've written an ebook called 100 Quick Tips for iOS 18 that will show you 100 new things that your phone can do now that it couldn't do before. Check it out below.